Hello, this screencast will provide some quick tips for annotating in Microsoft Word. Annotating is just a fancy term for marking the text in some way like highlighting and circling and numbering and putting notes in the margins. So the first thing I'll show you is how to do something like circling in a textbook, only in a Microsoft Word we're going to use a box. For example, in this intro paragraph, I can see that the author has provided the definition for the term public health. So let's say I want to annotate this. I can put a box around the term very easily by selecting it and then coming up here to where it says no border. Well, right now there is no border, but I want to add a border to it. So I click on the drop down menu and select outside borders. Now I have a box around my term public health. The next logical thing I might want to do is highlight the definition of public health, which I can see starts with these open quotes and ends with these close quotes. Highlighting is also very easy to do. Up here, you'll see the highlight feature. So I can highlight whatever it is that I want to, um, or select, I should say, highlight whatever it is I want. And then I come up here and use my drop down to select the color. And there we go. Another use for highlighting color would be numbering details. For example, I come down here to this paragraph and I can see that the author has provided a list of details that follow this colon. So it says, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention lists the 10 great public health achievements of the United States in the 20th century, colon, and then I get a list of those 10 things. So let's say I want to number those details. Well, it's easy enough to go in and insert numbers before each detail. But the problem is that they don't show up very well when I'm finished. They kind of blend in with the text. So an easy trick is to highlight the number and then come up here to our highlighting feature and give those numbers their own color. And you can see now that I selected green as my new color, it's the new default up here so I don't have to keep using the drop down menu until I want to change my color again. Okay. And there are 10, so I could keep going like that. All right. The last thing I'll show you is how to add notes to the margin, a very important part of annotation. We use the margins for all kinds of things, like uh, looking up words that occur in the text and providing their definition, for asking questions or having a reaction to a particular item. So let's say we want to. Um, we come across a word that we're unfamiliar with and we want to provide its definition here. So let's say this word fluoridation is new to us and we want to provide a definition in the, in the margins. So to do that, I come up here to the review tab and you can see my new comment option. First I'll select the thing I want to make a comment on, so fluoridation. And then I come up to new comment and you can see that my margin expanded and I have this area to add a note. So let's say that's the definition of fluoridation and there it is. And you can see now that the comment is linked to what's highlighted. I can do this for much larger pieces too. If I want to make a comment about this whole paragraph, I select it, click new comment, add my comment and there it is. So now, real quick, let's show you how to get rid of any of those things if you should change your mind. Very easy to do. If you no longer want this comment, you can click in it and right click. You'll see that delete comment is one of my options or I also have a delete button right up here. Either way. If I don't want my highlighting any longer, I simply reselect it. Let's come back to the home tab. That's where the highlighting is and then from the drop down menu say no color and the highlighting goes away. Same thing for the box. If I don't want that any longer I reselect it, come to my drop down menu and say no border and now that is gone. Very easy to do annotating in Microsoft Word and I hope this was helpful to you.